In this program, we're going to discuss the cryosphere. What is the cryosphere? The term cryosphere refers to the parts of the Earth where water is found in its frozen, solid form. The cryosphere comprises frozen lakes, glaciers, sea ice, icebergs, snow, ice caps, and permafrost soils. Snow and ice found on ponds and lakes are part of the cryosphere only during the winter months. Glaciers and ice caps are frozen year-round and many can remain solid for tens of thousands of years. The word cryosphere comes from the Greek cryos, which means cold or frost, and sphera, meaning globe. The cryosphere is part of the Earth's hydrosphere. The hydrosphere comprises the total amount of water on a planet. The cryosphere impacts everything on Earth. 90% of the solar energy hitting snow and ice is reflected back into space. This helps keep the Earth cool. However, the cryosphere is changing. Variations in the Earth's temperatures caused by natural and human influences have reduced snow cover and ice. As a result, less solar energy is being reflected and more is absorbed by land and water. This may lead to increased warming. Data has shown that annual snow coverage and Arctic sea ice have decreased over the past three decades. The reduction of snow and ice cover on Earth affect air temperature, the level of the seas, ocean currents, and weather patterns. This in turn impacts every living organism on the planet. Animals living in the polar regions rely on the cryosphere for habitat. Penguins depend on ice during their breeding season, and sea ice provides polar bears a means to hunt for food. Plants and animals in every region of the world rely on melting ice and snow for fresh water. Many people get the fresh drinking water they need to survive from melting snow and ice. Scientists closely monitor the cryosphere and, in particular, polar ice. During the winter, the top layer of the ocean near the North Pole is frozen solid. In summer, some of the ice melts. Observation satellites show that since 1979, the amount of ice remaining at the end of summer has been getting smaller and smaller, about 7.5% per decade. Sea ice is an important measure of our planet's health.